channel i hope you're doing well we're getting a little bit spooky fired as i say i had my little halloween dress on for a previous video and i thought you know what let's dig the other one out and actually get into the spooky vibe shall we and as you would tell by the title we have our monthly b m haul which has some spookingly good offers in here my lovelies we've still got some little bits of halloween that i've managed to pick up last minute just to show you what's in there we've got plenty of food snacks there's bits for me there's bits for mama g there's bits for dada there is a little bit of everything and anything so you know the drill by now get comfy get cozy get that pumpkin spice latte or your warm drink of choice and let's get in with our monthly b m haul <laughs> so my lovelies i have whew, one i can barely lift this one two huge bags jam packed as always so you know what look i've put all my cushions on here and i don't think we're gonna have room for you darling can you go up there there we go you, he's just gonna have to sit there as i say i can't fit him anywhere else right so let's kick it off with some halloween goodies shall we so if you are doing any parties or you just want a bit of decor they have another range it's the trick or treat range which i think is designed more for party wear and like children's functions but who says you have to be a child to enjoy these because i think they are very good and they are repurchased from last year we had them last year and then they got squished in the box so when i saw them again this year i was like we need to pick those up because we'll kind of squish the ones from last year so for two pound fifty you can pick up three honeycomb pumpkins now these are so easy to put out my lovelies you literally just unfold them and they'll have two little sticky tabs pop them together and then these look like they've got little hanging things so you can hang them up i don't know where would you hang them if you had any light fittings would that be a health and safety issue oh my goodness please don't no i don't think hanging them on a light fitting this is a toy warning this is not a toy for decorative use only keep away from naked flames and other sources of extreme heat yeah i wouldn't advise putting them on a light fitting but as i say these ones even though they've got the tassels on they just show them as a decoration so yeah i think that'd probably be the safest option just having them literally as a decoration i'm literally having no room already because i've already got my little pumpkin set up that you would have seen when we done our room tour for autumn if you didn't see that i'll leave it down there up above you know the drill this is very very random this haul my lovely so dada wanted snacks again and he's demolished his pack from last month so for 99p or were they 80 under a pound some fish and chips sport and vinegar once again as we all know dada loves his snacks and he had some last month and he was like oh pick us some more up when you go and i'm like i'm basically like your little personal shopper in i oh my god i absolutely love this yes i picked something up for bubba this was in the special buys aisle. Now, we all know what I'm like with special buys. What was it last month, my special buy? The fried egg-shaped spatula. Well, I saw this and I was just like, oh, my God, I need to get this for Bubs. So, this was £1.50. As we all know, Bubs, who is my partner, Brandon, his sister's baby, she is a little water baby. She loves a bath time, I've been told. So, I saw this and I just, I couldn't not get it look it's a little bath glove let's flick her ear up oh my god i just saw it and i was like i've got to get that for baba i can't i can't help it one size one pound fifty they did have a green one which was like a dinosaur crocodile theme but obviously she's got to have the princess bunny and i don't know i want to do a like a little um santa's christmas eve box because obviously it's gonna be our first christmas and i don't know whether to keep that or probably not, I'll probably just take it around next time I see her, let's be perfectly honest, because I don't think there's a time I haven't seen her and not had something for her. What can I say? I'm kind of like, oh, I just love her, you know what I'm like. Right, let's get on to the important stuff, the snacks. You will know these, these are a regular, my lovelies, chicken flavour Mayflower fresh instant noodles, one pound. Now, as we all know, I love these because you get the noodles, you get a bit of soy sauce, I think there's a sesame oil, sesame seeds, a little fork, good to go. If you are looking for that quick and easy lunch that still tastes nice and fills you up, well, I say fills you up, I have quite a big appetite and sometimes I do have to have like a little snack after, but 
if you have an average size appetite, I just love my food, I can't help it, this would be perfect for you. And I say, ready in three minutes. Bish bash bosh, you are good to go. I'm not going to get that out because you're going to moan at me again. Let's have a look. Oh, I tell you what, Mama G has not stopped. I picked these up, I think, last week. Mama G has not stopped asking me for her sweets. So, for one pound, Mama G picked up some raspberry and coconut ruffles. She says to me, Shan, I have no snacks in the house. I'm like, it is not my fault, Mama, if you have demolished all of the snacks in the home. You've got to be patient now and wait till I film, bless her. And as I say, she'll probably be the other side of the door hearing that I've said ruffles and being like, can I take my sweets now? All good things come to those who wait, eh? Right. We all know it's a staple. If you go to a bargain shop, you've got to get the cans of drinks. So we've got two Fanta Lemon. Not really like an autumnal drink, actually a very summery drink, but it's great with a bit of gin, I'm not gonna lie. I have slowly started to make the transition from gin to rum now. So rum and Coke, rum and Dr. Pepper, I absolutely love. Someone did sell me, what was the rum and, was it ginger ale? I had a suggestion before. I haven't tried that yet because I'm not really a fan of ginger ale. I find it quite like, like sharp so i'm not too sure about that but yeah rum and coke and rum and dr pepper i do love if you have any other mixers for rums please do let me know down below my lovelies you know your girl likes to experiment when it comes to the alcoholic beverage eh? right so i picked up a few sets of these but they're slightly different these are for me for when i move out whenever that may be you're probably thinking shannon did you need them Probably not, but I just thought they was really nice. And they were £2, and it's a set of five magnetic clips, but they're in this marble print. Oh, no. I've just realised I haven't got a magnet on one of them. Okay, well, that one's not magnetic. So I have four magnetic and one normal. And as I say, they're £2, but they're just this really nice grey and marble print clip. So you will know these are great for, like, putting... Let's put that putting on open bags of crisps, sweets, anything like that. But I like the fact that they were magnetic because then I can also, like, if I've got wads of paper, stick them on the fridge. Well, I've got four, not five, so one will be just for crisps. But, yeah, as I say, it is a little bit expensive when you see the next lot that I picked up, but I think it's because these are magnetic. They're marble, they're cute, and I thought, you know what? I'll pick them up and they can go in for probably non-essentials in the kitchen, but we all know I love them. And then, as I say, these are what I picked up for Mama G. These are 15 multi-purpose soft grip pegs, £1.15. As I say, these ones aren't magnetic or anything, they're just white with a little yellow handle, but honestly, I got her a pack from, I think it was Cherries a few months back. She absolutely loves them. Like, if there is something open, it has got a clip on it. So I thought, you know what? Don't say I don't treat your Mama G. We'll get you some more little pig clips, as I say, because she was with me at the start of when I went into b &M, And then she got a bit flustered because it was very busy in our local m and for... m and &M? b and m for some reason and i'm not entirely sure she started getting a bit flustered so she was only with me for like the first little bit and then she was like i need to go outside and get some air i'll just meet you in the car so i was like okie dokes she left me with full reins didn't she and some of the bits that you will see coming up you will know that she wasn't with me because you'll think if she was with me she would not have let you get that so just saying all right let's have a look let's have a look these were on offer and as we say can never be too careful with some hand gels and these are perfect for like keeping in the car or at my work desk they are by the brand care essentials and they're a 200 mil and these were down to like 50 or 60p so i picked up another couple of anti-bags as i say perfect for a car i'm gonna start putting them there because i've literally got no room my pumpkins are taking up everything um great for like the car for work just keeping in the hallway in the kitchen we literally have an anti-bag in every room of the house and that was even before covid me and mama g have always been quite a uh, anti-bag family let's just say we're never without it in our bags so obviously when everything come in and everything was like sold out we was fine because we've always got a good stash but yes that was another little thing we picked up <laughs> I'm going to save that till maybe towards the end because that was a unsupervised purchase and you will all know that. Oh my God. I picked this up. Now, when did I pick this up? Was it last month? Maybe the month before? In the summer months. Cup noodles katsu curry, right? It's got a really funky lid. These are 80 or 90p. 
best noodles I've had in a long time. So we all know I love my chicken flavoured Mayflower. These are kind of like, you know, like a standard pot noodle, but they're thick. Thick noodles, beans, saucy, carrots. Oh my God, absolutely delicious. I have to refrain myself and literally just pick one up at a time because if I could have a cupboard full of these, I'm not even exaggerating that, my cupboard would be full of these because these are just... I don't know, they're by the brand Nissin, next level, number one in Japan, and I can see why, because they are a number one for me for like a katsu pot noodle, pot noodle, like a katsu pot noodle style, you know, let's have a look, right, your girl is still scared to wash her hair, you're probably thinking, Shannon Lee, it's been quite a while, I have only washed this once, since having it done and you may think that is utterly disgusting but i like to think i'm keeping the natural oils in it all right i am just so worried of this color fading so my friend is two pound which batiste is getting quite pricey i'm not gonna lie this is the 280 mil the 400 mil has gone up to like five six quid I begrudge paying those prices, but I tell you what is good. Home bargains do the drumsticks and fruit salad like dry shampoos. I did rate them at first, but you know what? Give them a good shake and spray quite a bit on. They ain't too bad, and they're only a quid for. I think they might be two eighty or a hundred. But as I say, I do always go back to Batiste because it is one of my favourites. Two pounds for a two hundred eight mil in tropical. I think the best scent that you can get. And as I say, I need to order some of the hair color that she put on the hair because i can actually mix it with my shampoo and conditioner but as i say because i haven't got any yet i've just been like really worried that oh my god it's gonna fade out and i don't want it fading before christmas which people are probably thinking is a long way off but if you constantly wash it obviously the color's gonna come out and i don't want that i paid quite a bit of money for this and i would like to get as much use out of it as i possibly can so yes dry shampoo is my savior and then when I do wash my hair, like to get all the dry shampoo out, remember in Boots, the Tresemme Exfoliating Scalp Scrub? Oh my God, best friend ever. That gets everything out of that. Nothing will be left. There we go. I picked Mama G up another snack. These are 40p and these are her roast chicken mug shots. As we all know, I'm more like a tomato and herbal minestrone kind of girl. Mama G loves a nice roast chicken pasta. Not kind of my vibe, let's just say. Right, so when I was down the special buys aisle, once again, I saw this, and this was £2.50. And I thought, you know what? We're going to get it. Number one, because when I lay down in the bath, I don't want to be keep putting my head on a corner of like porcelain or whatever the bath is, because it hurts. I also thought, because why not keep me tattoo out of water, keep it like rested up, get myself a little luxury bath pillow so this was two pound fifty they had it in pink but i thought now nah, we'll go for gray which i'll be a bit standard and it is a luxury almost like teddy bear bath pillow it's got like the beans in it you can hear and then you've just got your two suction bits there so yes i thought you know what that can be kill two birds with one stone it'll keep the hair out because i can just rest it underneath not my chin on my back you know my lovelies and then also i can rest my tattoo on it so that it doesn't get wet and it doesn't get hurt well not that it hurts it's like fully healed now but you know what i'm just like a warrior in i so yes special buys unnecessary purchase one let's just say you're gonna have to go down there i'm afraid i'm going i used to have these as a kid and then i kind of fell out of love with them and we was at work the other day and I had a bit of like the munchies and someone said, oh, I have one of these. That's all I've got. And I was like, I'm not going to say no to chocolate because I was really craving chocks. And I had it and I was like, why did I ever fall out of love with these? So for one pound, I picked up six plus two. So you get eight. What a bargain. And they're only 92 calories per bar. Blue ribbons. Mama G is partial to these as well, so best believe probably that she will be helping herself to them. Isn't it weird, or is it just me? But the treats that your parents have, I don't like. So, like, the treats that Mama G has are not my cup of tea, so I never take her treats, anything like that. But my treats, oh, my God, she loves them all. And I'll go to get Sam, and I'm like, where's that? And she'll be like, oh, I had it the other day. I'm like, oh. So I've got nothing. The only treat that I have that she doesn't really like is candy floss. 
So guess what? Your girl's gonna be stocking up on candy floss, and then I know when I have like my sugary moments that I've got that for me. Right, found some new cans, my lovely. So we'll start with these two. Franklin and Sons Limited. Haven't heard of these before. 19p a can again. So we're going back to like Britvic days from Home Bargains. So I thought absolutely fabulous. Thought I'd try these. These are natural Indian tonic water. So as I say, I just got two of the yellow ones. And then they also had, let's pop that there, two, again 19p, natural light tonic water. So I thought, you know what, give it a go. What is the actual difference? Oh, that's an Indian tonic water, which I think has like lemon in it, I think. And this is just a natural light tonic. So I thought, go for that 19p. If it is another success and Home Bargains then don't have my Brit Vic, I can always revert back to B&M. So I am covered for my tonics in both stores, my lovelies. Don't you worry about that. Right. As we all know, the colder nights are coming in, which means comfort food. So yes, I will probably put on probably half a stone over the season i'm not gonna lie i do fluctuate and i do go up around autumn and winter because i like all the carbs so we're talking stews casseroles homemade bread pies desserts oh my god i never eat so many desserts as i do from the months of september to let's say january because i'm normally using up the christmas bits so i picked this up for i think it was 40 or 50p by the brand maggie once again you know maggie Pop your chicken and all that in, or I think they do one for meatballs. Put it in a bag with your spices, good to go. So this one I picked up was a chasseur. So absolutely love that. And as I say, quick and easy, good to go. Bung it in. And I do like Maggie because her flavours are absolutely delicious. And as I say, yeah, it's just all the carbs, the bread. You know, like the thick, crusty bread with all the butter oozing. So then you dip it in your gravy or your sauce. Oh what can i say i just love me food and then talking of loving food i picked these up for me because i did i i did get a bag last month i can't remember was it being in or home bargains you get these in both shops and i went to have them the other night and guess who'd have had them mama g eating my crackers so i was like right so i need to go and get another one then so these are oh, so addictive as well i got the mature cheddar and roasted onion again you can get like a sea salt and a black pepper, but they're 99p. And as I say, for Jacobs, I think they are so affordable. 99p. I'm not going to be paying like two quid like you do in the supermarkets, but they are addictive. Like I can sit there and eat that whole bag in one go, just like Mama G. But the difference is they were mine last month. Please don't fall. What are you doing? Let's just put it down there. And then the last thing in this bag, which you're going to know is once again an unsupervised purchase because you're going to be like, Shan, did you really need that? I got another mug, didn't I? <laughs> this is just so cute. I wish I'd have seen this in September because this is more like of an autumnal mug as opposed to like a Halloween mug that we're coming into now. It was £2.50. And it is from the Embossed Animal Mug. They had quite a few of these. I did see one next to it. And it had a polar bear on it. I can't get Christmas stuff just yet. I need to, as much as I'm looking at it. And I'm thinking like, probably give it two, three weeks. And I'll start getting bits. For now, I want to enjoy autumn and the Halloween period. So, for £2.50. Look, I've got a little hedgehog mug. I mean, just look at how cute that is. It says hedgehog. We've got two little hedgehogs. There's heart. <laughs> and my cushion just fell down on us. Up you go there again, mate. And it is just the perfect size. I love it. As I say, I wish I'd have seen it last month, but they didn't have anything last month. Why is it that all the shots, and I do find this with B&M, they skip all women Halloween. They always start doing the Christmas stuff before and then they might bring a bit of autumn and Halloween out as they're doing Christmas. I mean, I know Christmas is like the be all and end all of everyone's year, but don't skip the seasons, all right? Because this would have been such a perfect little mug for last month. So I might have to keep it for next month, you know? Just another unnecessary mug to add to the collection. But hey, hug, this is going to be my treat for the month, eh? And would you look at that? That first bag is done. So go and get a cuppa or refill if you need to. And let's get in with bag two, eh? Right, so now it is the heavier bag. 
which woohoo! I'm just gonna rest on my lap and we just dig in my lovely so Dada wanted some bits yet again as I say he's already got his fish and chips and his salt and vinegar whatever they're called he said to me Shan those golden wonders that you got last time if you see any more get them so I said what flavour any so I was like, oh, well, that narrows it down, Dada. So I picked him up for one pound, another six pack of Spring Onion Golden Wonder Crisp. As I say, who else is a Golden Wonder lover? I do like them. I like more like a smoky bacon or maybe already salted. Not really. I'm not too adventurous with my crisps. I'm not going to lie. Like, I kind of stick to what I know and stick to what I like. I'll try sometimes if Walkers do some new flavours or Pringles, but... Yeah, apart from that, your girl just sticks with what she knows. And what I do know, so I got my katsu curry, but I wanted like, I did fancy a nice pot noodle. So I picked up the pot noodle original curry. This was one pound once again. Is it me or have pot noodles got really expensive lately? I swear I used to remember them being like 50 or 60p and now they're a quid. But I'm not going to lie, out of the two of them, I do prefer my Nissin. I might take my pot noodle to work. That can just be like a quick lunch on the go. But my katsu curry noodles, I'm going to keep that here and enjoy that for when I am. Extremely peckish, let's just say. Oh my god, there's so many bits in here. What have I got? <gasps> These were a bargain, my lovelies. These were down, I think, from 150 down to 60 or 75p. And they are just Nescafe 3 in 1 6 sachets of latte flavour. So we all know I am partial to a little ready-made coffee because I can't be taking my coffee machines to work and the coffee we ever have at work isn't really the greatest. So best believe my drawer is filled, whether it's Nescafe, Macate, Cadbury's Hot Chocolate. I've got plenty of selection, as I say, because I just don't like that coffee there. The tea ain't too bad. I think we have PG tips. There may be some tea connoisseurs out there. I don't really tell the difference, I'm not going to lie. I do like PG tips and I do like Tetley and Yorkshire tea. I may have had any other kind, I'm not entirely sure, I couldn't tell you. But yeah, coffee, I am a bit like, I can tell if it's a bad coffee. And there's no flavours or syrups in our work one, so I think I can have that and have like my own little foamy latte, you know? Another little thing I thought I would pick up for you, my lovelies, I don't think this will be going out because Mama G, I think, is... She's done with the decorating the house. But I saw this for a quid and I thought I'll pick it up to show you. It's another Halloween door cover. So last month I picked up a clown one. And this month it's kind of like a haunted girl. Now I don't quite know how these work. I'm not going to lie because I did take the ones back last month with the tablecloth if you remember. But I just think they're really cute. It says it's a door cover but to me that looks like it's in a window. So I'm not entirely sure. But yeah, it's just like a little girl and she's a bit massacred and she says help. But if you are looking for like fun little things to decorate the house with on a budget, B&M is like go-to. B&M and the range, they are very, very good my lovelies. Oh no, something squashed me. Oh no. I've got another pack of my Nescafe, but I had a tin of something crushing it. Oh well. And then I got another pack, as I say, 60 or 75p, the Nescafe, in Frappuccino. So, again, it's just a take on cappuccino. So, I've got some lattes, cappuccinos. I'm good to go. And you can also get vanilla latte. Oh, did I actually? How many did I pick up? Because it's all coming back to me now. Okay, I've picked up quite a few. Let's get the coffees out of the way. Because I think I picked one each up. Yes, I did. So then I also got vanilla latte. Look at that. I'm going to be well and truly caffeined up, ain't I? And then these ones I picked up for Dada because they're just like an original. And I say, I don't really like plain coffee or like black coffee, espressos, anything like that. I like it like lattes, cappuccinos, mochas and all that. So I picked him up just the original ones in plain. So he can take them to work. As I say, I'm not quite sure what his coffee is at work but it's always handy to have eh and then oh did I get right this is what I mean I must have like a mental lapse when I'm in B&M I must black out and pick stuff up and not realize that I'm doing it 
So we've got the Mayflower noodles and the katsu noodles. But I must have picked two up. I thought I'd only picked one up. So we have another Mayflower noodles and another katsu noodles. Not going to lie though, that has made me very happy. I have more noodles now. So I can actually take one to work and then I can have one for home. I'm not going to complain. As I say, if you've had these Nissin katsu curry noodles, please do let me know down below what you think. Or the Mayflower. The Mayflower noodles they also do in chilli, which I normally have to pick up for Dada. But they didn't have any this time. And as I say, chilli's too hot for me. So we just got chicken for one. Right, so let's have a look. Oh, this again was for Dada. He wanted a white pasta sauce. So I was like to him, carbonara. He was like, no, a white pasta sauce. And I'm like, you either want a white sauce like what you have in a lasagna or you want a carbonara sauce. And he was like, oh, I don't know, just anything. So I picked him up for 99p again, a carbonara pasta bake sauce. Now, I'm not going to lie. I wish I would picked one of these up for us because I'm quite intrigued about this. We all know I love a good pasta bake, but I normally go with a tomato bake sauce. I've never actually thought to do one in a carbonara style. So you would have seen maybe, was it on my food instagram i think so it's down below um i done a chicken and bacon tomato based pasta bake but i could do chicken and bacon carbonara that's going on my list for something that i need to look at next month when i go because that is something oh my god this is all gonna tip that is something that actually i wouldn't mind trying no nope. oh my god i'm getting itchy nose it's gonna tip oh they say itchy nose is a surprise didn't they what is my surprise? That it's all going to fall on me, perhaps, maybe. But yeah, 99p. That is why I love the bargain shop. So, like, number one, your drinks. All of your cans and that are just, it's a go-to. You've got to get there. The noodles, the sauces, everything. It's just so much cheaper than a supermarket, ain't it? And I think, you know what? Instead of going around and, like, I can't be bothered to faff and go to, like, three or four different supermarkets. If it's all in a bargain shop, it's all cheap and cheerful. We'll get it all from there. Right. Oh, I picked this up from Mama G. I'm very sad because I haven't been able to find any, like, autumnal scented cleaning products. I have started to see the Christmas ones out and about, but there hasn't been, like, any pumpkin spice or, like, apple pie. Nothing like that this year. So, a little bit sad about that. But for £1.50, I picked her up the Astonish Kitchen Cleaner in Ruby Grapefruit. This is a repurchase. She has had this many times before and she really enjoys the scent of that. So I thought we'll pick her up that one. That's a new little cleaning thing. And then, oh, love, love, love these. I picked these up last month, I believe. Oh my God. It says a dinner for two, but as we all know, I've got a big appetite, so it's a dinner for one. I prefer the chicken curry to the sweet chilli noodles, but it is Maggie once again, chicken curry noodles. So you can actually put it in, like, make a curry and put the noodles in. I don't. I just eat the noodles on their own as, like, a large snack. But I have had the sweet chilli version of these, and I much prefer the chicken curry. One pound, cheap as chips. They fill you up. If you haven't got as big as an appetite for me, it could do two people. And then if you want to bulk it out anymore, you literally like do your chicken breast, peppers, onions, mushrooms, and then add these in. And you've kind of got like a little, uh, like a noodle stir fry, but a curry version. So yes, absolutely love them. But as I say, that's not for anyone else. That is kind of like a share bag, right? Maggie's dinner for two is a Maggie's dinner for one for sure. And you know, can't help it. I love me food. Right, we have another few drinks. So, once again, St. Helier. This is, oh, that is really cold on my leg. Oh, shouldn't have put it there, should I? St. Helier is a go-to. Orange, lemon, or passion fruit. 49p, oh my God. If you have not had these and not tried them, Canon. Canon, there we go. If you have not tried these, you need to. You are missing out a treat. They are kind of a dupe for San Pellegrino. And you all know how expensive San Pellegrino is. I think it's like £3 or three fifty for six cans. 50p there. Oh, actually, that probably works out no different. <laughs> but sometimes I don't want to be buying six cans all at once. I like two of different flavours, you know? And then the one that is really causing me pain because it's cold on my leg. I thought I'd treat Mama G. We all know she loves her Charlie Magnet. £1.50, little bottle there, so I thought I shall pick her that up. 
as a little treat so when i go in after i film this she can have her snacks she can have a little champagne or charlotte magnum whatever you call it and she will be loving life this is a cupboard essential now last month i picked up the bisto southern fried gravy granules so much easier than this one but i didn't find it had as much of like a peppery taste so don't get me wrong the bisto one is really nice you literally just add it with water it's a lot more quicker this one you have to boil like you put it on the hob and you do it via the pan method but i do find with this one from previous usage it has more of like say a proper kfc gravy the other one has like a twang and i think the other one would be really nice I've seen an American dish where it's like a breaded chicken, a scallop, and then they pour that over. I think it'd be really nice for that. And this one, it just has like a bit more of a kick. So this is 80p, and this is the Mayflower Southern Fried Gravy Mix. So as I say, we've had this many times before, but I wouldn't still like, I'm not condone, condoning. No, I'm not dismissing Bisto. As I say, Bisto will still work. If, say, I can't be bothered to be standing over the hob whisk in this, Bisto is a lot more convenient. And I could always just add a bit of pepper to give it a bit more of a twang, you know? So don't worry. If you can't get Mayflower, Bisto is an alternative. Oh, and I picked her up another roast chicken pasta mug shop. This is what I mean. I must black out when I'm in there. Because I literally think, apart from the drinks, I know I always buy in two. So apart from that one, I've just got a random one. But like the noodles, I think, yep, I've got one, got one. And then as I start to film, I'm like, oh, I've got two. Did I have like a little mental lapse? And I just blacked out and picked up two when I thought I got to one. Who knows, eh? Who knows what goes on in my head? This, I do know that I picked up two. You remember Dada? He has a very sweet tooth, doesn't he? Very, very sweet tooth. Oh, I do apologise for that noise. So these he absolutely loves. They are £2 a pot for 500 grams. And it is just a random pick and mix box. Now, it's probably not good, but he can sit there and eat one in one sitting. Where I'm more savoury, and I can eat like the big share bags in one sitting, and he's not really savoury, he's more sweet. So, yeah, it's probably not great that he can sit there and eat one in the whole sitting. Because let's have a look, per 100 grams, oh, 364. So he's having like almost 1500 calories in one thing but hey ho that's his sweet tooth so as i say pick those up for dada also and then mum just said to me i need a cheap shampoo and conditioner so i was like any particular brand she went no i literally just want a cheap one she said just to try and like because her hair at the minute i don't know if it's because she's overwashed it it's actually getting really greasy very quickly so she said i just want to try a cheap one and then not wash it as often so we're like we're going to be twinning like that because we all know I don't really like to wash my hair when it's first coloured. Dry shampoo is life, as you will know. So I picked up this one, Wash and Go, for shampoo and conditioner, two-in-one, clean, strong, and healthy hair, classic. This was like 80p. So I thought, you know what? If she has it, she don't like it. It's not like it's broke the bank instead of like paying three, four quid. Because I don't know about you, I love my Garnier. We all know that I love my Garnier. Tresemme, I really like. I used to use Pantene a lot back in the day. I kind of stay away from that. Head and shoulders, I used to use in the day. I stay away from that now. The one that I do really like, which I think is on par with Garnier, is Maui Hair Care. But let me tell you, Maui is so expensive. I think it's like seven to nine pounds a bowl. I'm not paying that on my hair. I don't wash my hair enough to warrant that. So probably if I did get that, it would last me a long time. But I only ever pick it up if it's like down to four or five quid a bottle with Boots or Superdrug have an offer because, yeah, it's pricey. So if she likes that, have you content at like 80p a bottle? You know what I'm saying, Mama G? And then the last two things, my lovelies, let's put that bag out of the way because it's making the most terrible racket. I picked up for Dada as well. It's by the brand Hungry Breaks. Now, I know this brand because when we go to the log cabins, Brandon will always pick up one of these in an all-day breakfast. And it's basically just, I think, is it designed for like truckers or like van men like on the go? So I got him a chili con carne and it says minced beef and kidney beans in a rich tomato sauce. And let's say this was one pound. So again, he likes to have a lot of tins as we know normally. I get the task of getting the beans, the beans and sausages, the ravioli, all of that. But I thought a chili con carne kind of like mixes it up a bit. He can have a packet of microwave ball rice and you've got a nice little meal there. 
And then also, as we know, this is probably going to start being a regular occurrence in the halls. Whenever I go for a pasta or a tomato sauce, there is never one in there. Let me tell you that. So I picked this up, as I say, Lloyd Grossman, one pound once again. The bargain shops are so good for the sauces. Lloyd Grossman, dog me, you'll easily pay almost two quid in the supermarkets, but not in the bargain shops. One pound, my love is. So I picked up a tomato and roasted garlic for a change. I think last month I got an original bolognese. And you know what? They're so handy because if you've got them nights where you don't know what you want and you don't really know what you want to cook, you can't be bothered to cook a lot, I literally boil pasta or spaghetti, find if I've got a tin of kidney beans or sweet corn in the uh, cupboards, put a bit of a sauce, whack it on with some cheese. There's always cheese in this house. And we've got a meal. And as I say, then every time I go back, I'm like, we haven't done like a bolognese or something. I think, oh no, a quick and easy pasta dish. I've used it all. But my lovelies, my dressing table for the space that I had is covered. The treasure chest. The chests are covered. My seat is covered. So that means we have had a very good haul, my lovelies. <laughs> so as much as it pains me to say, this is the last autumnal slash Halloween B&M haul of 2021. But next month it will be Christmas. Oh my God, I'm so excited. I can't contain myself. Can you tell I'm so excited? I, it does make me sad because I think we have January to end of August where it's kind of like you've got all that time, but there's never really like anything going on apart from Easter and Valentine's. And then you have autumn and Halloween and it's like just condensed because I don't know how it works. Is it? September, October and November is classed as autumn and then December, January, February is classed as winter. I am not entirely sure. I do apologise. I've had such an itchy nose on these. I must have a huge surprise coming. God knows what. But for me, and I don't know if it's like for other YouTubers, like our seasons are kind of like, right, September and October is autumn, November, December, Christmas. But my Christmas will go like November, December, January. We all know from last year, I like to keep my tree up. Well, keep the trees because there's going to be like a forest of them now, because I've bought another one. Let's not say any more about that. Um, yeah, I like to keep that up for a long time. That is why we decorate early September for autumn and Halloween, so we can get the full amount of time out of it, because as I say, it does take a while to decorate, and it is nice once it's all done. And then when it comes down and Christmas goes up, Christmas is a struggle. Christmas takes two to three days. That's like, it's very time consuming. And we have a small home. Like, you know, we don't live in a mansion. Oh my God, if, imagine if we did. We're just like in a little masonette and it takes us a long, long time. And that's why we keep it up pretty much till the end of January, which a lot of people will say is bad luck. But for the time it takes to get up, we want to get the full usage out of it. And then, not going to lie, once it goes down, it just looks bare. Like, I might have a few things around February for like Valentine's Day and we have Bee's birthday and that. And then we have a little bit up for Easter mum's birthday and mother's day but apart from that the house is never really decorated until you get like september to january onwards the home's decorated and i'm so excited to get some christmas content up i feel like the autumnal and halloween content is slowly coming to an end and it does make me sad because i really love it but i'm not gonna lie i'm a lover for christmas ain't i but look at this i am rambling as always She's never going to stop, is she, my lovelies? No, I'm not. So, if you did enjoy the video, guys, you know what to do. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe down below. As I say, leave me a comment. What was your favourite bit from the haul? Have you tried the Nissin katsu curry noodles? Or have you tried the Mayflower chicken noodles? Do you go and get your sauces from the bargain shops? As I say, don't be paying the prices that you see in the supermarkets. Dry shampoo. Does anyone else hear me that dry shampoo is life? And coffees. Go and have a look, see if they still got a bargain on for your coffees. And as I say, I need to kind of condense because I've been doing a lot of filming recently and the kitchen is like bursting it, it seems. So I think I might have to take quite a lot of these snacks to work. But hey ho, I'm not going to complain because I spend most of my life at work, it seems. So I need to be happy, eh? I need to be happy and not hangry. That's what I like to say. So yes, take care, my lovelies. Stay safe as always and I shall see you all in the next one. Bye!